What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Black Game Show. My name is AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Godfall. Let's talk to Sanctum and keep moving. You know, I, I thought I could go back into the world and kind of like free roam and just kind of, you know, practice a little bit. I, I don't think I can. Interesting. It's good you found Xenon. He'll be useful. I honestly heard him say semen. <laughs> We're at war. You and I only have time for I heard a totally different us. word. Perhaps. Usefulness comes after care, Oren. What I care about is defeating Macros. If Xenon can help us do that, so much the better. From an Earth sigil we acquired at the Vargal Fortress, I've been able to locate Zamora the Far Seeing. She's at her lair behind the Prismatic Falls. You need to acquire enough Earth sigils, including the one we already have, before we can enter her lair. You can earn them by completing hunt missions here in the Earth Realm. All right, Oop, wrong button. Got a few skills apparently. Um, honestly, with the way I play, I still think that getting more Soul Shatter buildup is probably one of the better things I can get. Whose critical hit chance wouldn't be bad. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to focus on... I, I'm, I'm going to be a little boring right now, but... And, you know, not go deep into the... Um, you know, not go deep into the skill system, but... The way I play, which is very simplistic and very uh, attack focused, especially you know that I'm, <laughs> I get I get a little too single minded. I think building up vitality and like I said, soul shatter, especially with the fast moving uh, dual blades that I like. I think both of those are probably um, my best option at the moment. Explore the realm. Aluvi okay, so I'm gonna guess I can't just because I had to talk to her. I couldn't come out here and run around and hang out while I wasn't, you know, um, I, could, I, I, I couldn't just run around or whatever when I had to talk to her about whatever. Okay, so we have a unique quest there. Um, according to Xenon, there is a cache of old Valerian artifacts located in the Alluvial Plains. Uh, we need to recover these items and add them to our arsenal. Okay, so that's a story mission. Yeah, we need to do that hunt thing. Um, yeah, let's do this hunt mission, I guess. Yeah, because we'll get these Earth sigils. Are, are we... Is, is this going to turn into something like Monster Hunter? Like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Defeat the Alpha Rancor. Oh, okay. I have time. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is, is this going to turn into... Fuck you, game. Got Let me hit you. There we go. Keep 
Empress and square to dodge. Go, go, ah! Going. Oh, I died. Yeah, fine. Thought I'd get more of a punishment for dying, but okay. Head back up here. Yeah, I don't know. My dual blades aren't doing anything against the shield guys. Though I guess that makes sense, you know. An enemy that's super high defense based. God damn it, I'm, I keep trying to hit square to dodge. I was playing a lot of Assassin's Creed uh, Valhalla a couple days ago. Jesus Christ, this is kind of like Monster Hunter. Watch out for the poison. Or just getting hit in general. Yeah, that's about right. I just can't get my dodge timing down. I don't know why I'm... Well, no, I know why. I'm playing two or three action games that are... Very similar. You know, I'm playing Monster Hunter in my free time. I'm playing 
AC Valhalla that's got a similar combat system just on different buttons. Gonna stay away, dodge out, focus on the small guys. See if we can get any health drops. Pull the big guy away, come on. Barely anything. You know, I can't actually move without you. Oh, fuck you. I hit fucking square again. I keep hitting goddamn square to dodge. Okay, I thought I was out of the I was out of range, but I guess not. Or I thought I, you know, I I dodged or whatever. God fuck you, game. I don't know. I don't know if the hitboxes are weird or what, but I there there are a few times that I'm like I, I swear I I hit the dodge button, you know, I got out of the way, and apparently even I don't dodge away far enough. I mean, also it doesn't help that I just I kind of suck at these kind of games, so you know. Take it for what you will. Activate this beacon.
these damn things. I'm just going to complete the mission. Alright, so now I'm supposed to use these... Oh, I, need, I need more Earth Sigils. Alright. Well, fine. We'll do this. We'll do this story mission and then I'll... Go hunt some more stuff off camera and we'll keep going. We're here to get a collection of artifacts. We're looking for weapons to add to our arsenal. The items are in the alluvial plains. Mark the weapon cache. The Vargul control these lands. They won't let us walk into their territory unchallenged. Then we'll just take what we need by force. Head to the watchtower. The alluvial plains phase nodes are there. Be prepared to fight. The Vargul have claimed it since you wiped out the previous defenders. Survive the Sunflare Orb. Okay. So what the hell am I doing? Jesus, come on. I'm supposed to interact with that, I get it, but give me the prompt. Hack and slash, hack and slash. What a strange device. Macros used to place those things on the battlefield to motivate our warriors. 
The phase node is active. Let's head into the alluvial plains. I miss anything? Yes, I did. Again, you gotta be careful not to run away from chests and lose your items because you know as most games would just have you open the chest and Tell give you them this place. not this one the alluvial plains are dotted with ruins dating back to the unification the valorians kept several libraries here hmm. some vargo leaders are coordinating the warbands point them out Don't see any more of those. I'm, I, I'm gonna keep calling them batteries. Oh, those things to open, uh, open chests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roar, roar to you too, buddy. these little there we go slippery yeah, grab that stuff and yeah, another battery thing that's out there yeah I don't know if you guys can uh, can tell by my just kind of lackluster commentary through this I'm just this game, I mean, I, yeah, I had some initial style. It's just, the more I play it, I'm just not getting into it. I don't know. This might, um, this series might end up being a dud. I might just end up, you know, calling it before I finish the game just because I'm just not having fun. I've got, you know, I, I've got enough projects started right now. This is something that I'm really trying to do is just kind of, if a game like this that I'm playing, I'm just not enjoying it, you know, and, it, and I don't think it makes for fun commentary for you guys to listen to with me just going, yeah, I hate this, I hate this, but yeah, it's just, I'm not.
That last battery thing up here? Yes, no, maybe? Let's head back, hunt the whatever we're supposed to hunt. use the Archon Fury more often. A powerful creature has emerged. Hmm. The ghost of this place are restless. It draws power from the spirit realm. It will fall like the rest. Oh, goody. Summoning wraiths. Oh, they're actually called wraiths. Oh, man, I was just kidding. I, I wish they'd pull the camera back a little bit. Have the camera not be so right behind the character. I get it. They want this to be more of an intense action game similar to... Uh, I know I know people call games Souls-likes whenever it's this kind of slower dodge parry, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 I get it. It's, it's not a Souls-like, but it's this, uh, as I would call it, souls light. This is Neo. Neo is a Souls-like game without, you know, actually being made by From. This game, to me, feels like they're trying to imitate it, but also trying to imitate Destiny at the same time. Yeah, I think the pole arms. My weapon of choice here. But you know, but if you don't have your enemies attacking you at a at a slower speed, you know, I mean, some of these guys are actually pretty quick, pretty, pretty shifty. For the love of God, you gotta give me a wider camera angle. See, like this, like, like, right there where it, right there when I'm dodging, it's pulling back. That's where you got to give me the camera angle. So I can see almost in 360, so I can see behind me when somebody's, you know, because so many times I'm getting hit, you know, I'm focusing on an enemy and I'm getting hit in the back. I get it, that happens in Dark Souls a lot, but it's just, it's, in my opinion, if you're trying to be a little faster of an action game, it's just, you got to give me a little wider field of vision. Look, that might be, just be a personal opinion. I, I don't know. Take it for what you will.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't get why sometimes their health re... You know, respawns, but sometimes I get like a free continue where it... Kind of like this, like this attempt, his health didn't refill. Squat building. I wonder what we'll find. He never missed a chance to revel in his glory. We might be able to learn something about Macros. I'll store these in my archive. We're done here. Let's head to the Twilight Beacon. Yeah, screw these little mini enemies. Sanctum, how complete are your archives? Not very. Once Macros locked me away, I stopped getting new records altogether. Uh, let's just complete the mission. Alright, well, I'll hunt those Earth sigils or whatever um, off camera and we'll, yeah, move on to the next boss. Uh, like I said, don't be surprised that the series gets axed early. I'm just, I'm not having fun, man. Um, and look, and if you like the game, you like the game. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to diss on you for it. It's just, it's not for me. At least I don't think, but uh, I'll try and push through it. See if I'm just in a slump or something. You know, I get in those moods sometimes. So we'll see, but, uh, and there'll at least be one more video. So thanks for watching guys. Social media is in the description. Like, I mean, not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name is AJ Gills. This is the Game Channel. I'm out.